What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Modern League here on uh, YouTube, Twitch, wherever you're watching. And uh, today we're going to do another deck critique. This was by... Uh, let me make sure I get the, the username correct. RGNK Phoenix. I just call him Phoenix. Um, this is a uh, Twitch Hi. subscriber. And uh, he asked me to critique this Bant Turns list in Modern if you guys are interested in the same thing. Check out my Twitch profile. I have info on how you can do that. And uh, it's definitely a great way to support the stream. And uh, we get to you get to show me your, your sweet brews. So, <clears throat> basically, it's Bant Turns. I don't know if you guys know this. Bant, like, Turns in general is probably my favorite archetypes in Modern right now. So, um, we also just played a, a, a Turns list recently. And we tweaked it in such a way that uh, it seemed pretty solid. I kind of liked it myself. It had Eternal Witness and uh, Farseek in it and Thing in the Ice, which were the interesting inclusions. Thing in the Ice was also great because it could bounce your Eternal Witness and your Snapcaster Mages so that you get even more Time Warp effects, which is great. Um, this one looks a little more traditional, but we're splashing green today for Utopia Sprawls and Corsair of Crufix and Nissa, which is actually a pretty sweet way to, uh, to win the game. Right, because you negative six her, make two five fives, attack for ten, and you make two more five fives and attack for ten. Uh, we also have one Jace the Mind Sculptor and two part the Water Veil. So these are probably our win conditions. Theoretically, we could attack with Corsair of Crufix a bunch and kill them that way, but eh, that seems less than ideal. Uh, I think the ideal turn is going Utopia Sprawl into Dictate on turn two. You can Exhaustion them, and then you can Time Warp, and then you can just start doing turns. Take a, take a turns from that point. Um... We do have an Elixir of Immortality, which was, an, it's, it's an inclusion from the original deck list. The original turns list had uh, Elixir of Immortality so that you can keep recycling things like Walk the Aeons and Time Warp. And uh, I believe there was one other Time Warp that was being played in that deck that isn't here, but I'm not sure. Um, but, but right now it's interesting because the only things we're going to be recycling are Time Warps because Part the Water Veil and Temporal Masteries both exile themselves. So... Um, uh, other than that, though, like you can recycle your exhaustions, which are essentially time walks for the most part. And um, yeah, deck looks pretty interesting. Um, I don't notice any glaring flaws off the start. I'm not a huge spreading seas fan. Uh, I'd rather just have something that like was a little more proactive. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, we also have 22 lands, so hopefully these Utopia Sprawls and Courses of Crew Fix will. Uh, get the job done we also have like remand and spreading seas are both two mana plays that enable us to draw a card so ideally we'll be able to do something on turn two in order to hit that third land drop <clears throat> but sideboard is interesting we're splashing white off of hollowed fountain and one temple garden and we also have misty reinforced and windswept heath and utopia sprawl could name white if you really need to but we have rest in peace and stony silence two of the main players in uh in, in white sideboards we also have dispel to help keep our make sure our time warps resolve ratchet bomb maybe for affinity or tokens putting it on one or two uh trinosphere is interesting also probably good against affinity to be quite honest makes all their their artifacts cost three but it does cost three so they could have just emptied their hand by then uh this is also probably for a deck like storm so aether eyes bounce all the attackers and chalice is just great against certain matchups it's pretty much a instant win so all right let's see what happens i'm excited to, to take some turns what's up large brandon <clears throat> i will play first Oh, uh, this is exactly what we want to happen. Unfortunately, we don't have a second blue yet, but we can still keep this. Actually, we do. We can uh, get a breeding pool, name blue with Utopia Sprawl. That's perfect. And then we can either remand something or dictate something. Elk Tears, as I mentioned at the beginning, we did play a similar list. I just want to thank you for keeping politics out of the stream. I've been catching up with your streams and watching some of the political arguments. My job is often used a lot in politics. So I'm constantly surrounded with it when I come here. He's in his escape just to watch a couple of funny guys. Yeah, that's actually what I'm trying to do. Also, the only thing that's going to happen when people start discussing politics in a magic stream is people are going to start arguing. So I would just prefer that. I would just prefer that that didn't happen. So appreciate anyone in advance for keeping the politics out. I will name Blue. Oh, 
that's so brutal. Well, that's awkward. Oh. Intriguing. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, that hungry Howie bot doing the Lord's work. Oh, Blood Moon, Sarah. Blood Moon, really? Um, let's just play this guy. There's a picture here. here. Uh, if it's a little kid, it's probably Mia, and that is my friend, uh, Yoakum's daughter. She's one of my favorite people in the world. Not my, not, I am an only child. I have no siblings. Jarman, glad you can catch live as well. Hope you're having a good Sunday too, buddy. I mean, if you're looking at my profile picture, that's who it is. Ooh, yes. Let's do that already. Let's draw a second card. We do need lands, though. And we didn't hit any lands here, which is awkward. <laughs> I guess we'll just go to the next one. We still get to draw two extra cards there, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> Do we just look at the top card, hope it's a uh, land? Now we're going to scry and uh, put that on top and put that on top as well. I like both of those. So Big J Funk, thanks so much for saying so. Appreciate it. Glad you can catch live. Glad you've also been uh, watching the YouTubes as well. Hey, Chris, I like that when I was in Seattle, our adventure was like, oh, man, I don't know how these crepes are going to turn out. They're not looking good. Until the very end where it was like, these crepes are frigging amazing. Please keep making more. It was such a like, it was such a drastic change from the beginning to the end there. Sure. Oh, they discarded a gristle brand. Ooh, that's, that's just ghastly. Uh, I can put both of these on the bottom. I think that's fine. I mean, this is as good as like them not having a turn, right? I assume they'll get a land here. We're just helping them out a lot. Oh my god, really? A, a fourth discard spell? Come on. Oh, it's just a Tassiger. Sure. <clears throat> Another Dictate, actually. That's pretty sweet. Um, I think we just keep them tapped down again. I don't think we care if we take four here. We're also going to crack this, so I guess it doesn't matter. No, we're not. We play, did we play land? No, we haven't played land yet. All right. So we drew Rainforest. Oh, we can actually put Dictate into play, can't we? Put you on top. Put you on top. Uh, if it's, Oh, it just has to be a lander creature. I guess it doesn't matter then. <clears throat> 
I guess we can actually draw the dictate and then just play exhaustion here. Doesn't matter. We're going to crack this guy. Pretty sure we just get island here. I don't think we need to take extra damage. This is a lot of this is a lot of exhaustions we've been seeing. I think we are, interestingly enough, going to keep that. Uh, Nissa's for win condition. Nissa wins the game. There at 16, Nissa can make you attack for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Pretty good. <clears throat> Play a land. Exhaustion you again. Immortality. Uh, let's part the water veil next turn. Put you on the bottom. Put you on the top. <clears throat> this actually seems very good because one, two, three, four, six, seven. We can actually snapcast through time warp. The old discards. Sounds good. Oof, <clears throat> it's your boy. Jace the Mondo Sculptor. We just win here. If they have fatal push, I'm gonna feel real stupid about attacking with this at this breeding pool, but yep, now I feel real dumb. I didn't actually think about fatal push, I actually thought about uh untapping the land that we would get the most value from, so not ideal, but we'll recover. doesn't matter Do they get haste? Cool. <clears throat> Looks like we got him anyway. <clears throat> Brian, you thought port was legal and modern? Woo! Uh, 
Uh, I thought it was done raining, but apparently it just started raining again. So it is possible that we, the internet cuts out. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't. I'm not thrilled about it, but it is a possibility at this point, unfortunately. <laughs> a magic store. Well, why don't you kids try some of these brand new Rashad ports in your modern decks? Oh, well, sir. Um, no. Oh man, I love Bendis. <laughs> Wow. I am going to spell pierce, y'all. Utopia sprawl. No, you're not going to do that. All right. I like it. Blue. Seems good. Seems good. <clears throat> yeah, you can see the effect of Nissa. The thing about Nissa is that it just doesn't take a lot to activate her ultimate. Uh, as you can see from that game that we just won due to Nissa's ultimate, so... Oh, I'm gonna make a um I'm gonna make a commander group for the for the magic things. There you go. Now you guys have a commander group. That seems a lot better than not having one, so What Oh, that's rude. Comical, but rude. Neza Hall in the graveyard. So this has got to be like a Gorgo's Vengeance deck, right? I don't actually think that was that impressive, to be honest with you, but... What do I know? So they don't have any black now. That's pretty cool. I don't even know what's happening right now. I don't think it's Esper Gifts. I think it's just like Gorio's Vengeance. Because you've already seen Jace. Jace is a Gorio's Vengeance target where you get him back, you flip him immediately, and then you get to keep him. Obzidat we've seen, which is also a Gorio's Vengeance target. Uh, Primal Tide is also... Uh, Gorya's Vengeance target because you can reanimate him and then exile it with discarding three cards. Sure. So long, Snapcaster. This is the first match of 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 the league yes not the game it's not the first match of the game of magic because that doesn't make any sense what did they target no just serum visions aggressive <clears throat> I like both of these, so I'm going to keep them both. I, I like I don't like playing Snapcaster main phase, but I do want to actually use the uh, Serum Visions. So I'm pretty sure, based on what we're seeing right now, we're definitely going to bring in Rest in Peace. But that's really... Rest in Peace is kind of awkward for this deck, because 
You have like Snapcaster and the more Elixir Mortality. I will sacrifice. Oh, discard. Hmm. Sure. Uh, you can talk about proxies in Commander. That is totally fine. <clears throat> Dotsies. Eh, we'll counter that. They have one card in hand. Oh, we didn't attack one of his Planeswalkers because it was an 0-1 based on Jace Telepath Unbound. Yeah, I think we're bouncing Lily. Well, the thing about assuming Karakong is that you can look at the cards and they actually represent, they show you what the what the card is. Wow, you got it. Your last card was a disdainful stroke. I'm pretty sure we're uh, losing this game, but what up, Tin Man? Interesting. This is actually really hard to deal with. I think we actually just scoop here, but I guess we can play from the top. They have no cards in hand. They have no cards in hand, but we're having a really hard time dealing with these things. That's not going to do it. Yep, we're just going to go to the next game. They're going to Liliana next turn. We're going to draw another forest. All right. So, I think Rest in Peace is... And we'll take out Elixir and Snapcaster. That seems fine. Chalice on one is a little scary, though. See, the one thing I'm, con I'm concerned with Chalice is that, like, we have a lot of one-mana spells. Nope. Mm, yeah, all right, sure. I will keep this hand. I'll put you on the top. I guess it doesn't matter because we're going to crack this rainforest. Hmm. 
what's your call on the BNR announcement? Nothing. I mean, I don't think there's any, there's nothing that's worthy of being banned or restricted as far as I can tell. I don't think there's anything like, there's no, there's no like, there's no murmurs circulating, right? Like no one's like, oh, this needs to be, this is, this card's overpowered or this card's busted. That was an interesting choice. That's pretty sweet. You can take either of these cards. Now I get to draw two a turn. Yes, please. And you missed a land drop? Woo! What a time to be alive. Bottom, bottom. I have so much land that it's just ridiculous. Did you did you miss another land drop? No way. Utterly unbelievable. Oh, this is just incredible. <laughs> yep. You get to whiff on land. You get to whiff on Thoughtseize. And I have double... Oh, you didn't whiff on the land. That's interesting. Post-combat land. Oh, I guess you're going to just play uh, Fragmentize. Sure. All right. It's all coming together. Not my dick. Not one of my two dictates. Come on, man. Those benefit you, too. I feel like we're still pretty safe here. Maybe we can just deck them. Wow. Double fragmentize. Seems good. All right, well, I guess we've wrecked them significantly less than we had thought. Even that would have done it, wouldn't have done it. That's fine. Nothing, huh? Let's get an old hollowed fountain here. It's a thing. Pop the old graveyards out. Gristle brand, huh? Well, isn't that a dude? Well, that's a good card. I'm pretty sure I don't come back from this. Come back from what? I think we're doing just fine. Awkward. Looking for that, looking for that sweet, sweet rest in peace. When I get that feeling, I want to be resting in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> Five. We can crack this guy.
Do you ever feel bad about playing Fire Orphan cards like Jason? I mean, like, I, I, I can understand why my opponent is totally miserable right now thanks to my overpowered Jace the Mind Sculptor, but... Feels good. Feels good. Another one. Here we go. Should have expected that, I suppose. Hmm. Interesting. I'm intrigued. So we saw a disdainful stroke, which is unfortunate. They have three cards in hand. That's interesting. Uh, I play standard when I have to, if that makes sense. Always yield to that. What are you going to do? That's actually pretty good. Do they not have a disdainful stroke? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven. Now they're going to crack. That's where they draw the line. Dispel one time. Oh, so close, dude. <sighs> Amazing. That would have been game. If we had one, if we literally had one more land, we would have won the game. And now we're at six, so we die to this guy. All right. Well. Platypus, thank you so much for saying so, man. That is unfortunate. Yeah, literally would have won us the game. Because we could remand, our Temporal War Master would have resolved. On our free turn, we would have been able to awaken 
they have no mana untapped. We get to awaken, attack for six on the next turn, attack for another six. Like, it's literally one land is the difference between winning and losing that match. Which is extremely frustrating. I will play first. This hand is rough. I don't think we can keep this hand. This hand is a lot better. Keep you on top. I actually want you, so I'll just leave you there. God, it's so discouraging. Like, so close. That was a good draw. Yeah. I have to name green with this, which is awkward. But we do want to hit a land drop here. And we get to. Sweet. All right, now I feel good. What am I missing? Are there questions in the chat that I'm not answering, specifically about journey lyrics? Overgrown and Stomping Ground in the in the Elves deck. I'm intrigued. So many Dwinnins elites. One, two, three, four, five. I think we can play Dictate and then survive for a turn, maybe? God, maybe not. This is gross. The problem is we need eight mana here. One, two, three, four, we have five. We need eight mana to play both of these in one turn. If there's a land on top, we can go draw this, play the land. That's six, and then play it. Then we'll go to seven. If there's an exhaustion on top, I'll totally, uh, I'll totally take a turn just so I can draw that. Oh, we just took a million. That seems good. Really uncomfortable right now. We block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're actually dead if we if we don't actually take another turn here. We do have to start taking some turns, which is extremely awkward. Okay, we have to do it again because of the exhaustion. And now they know the trick, so we can't I don't think we can actually attack here. Actually, maybe we can cuz then we only take 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. We'd go to 1, but then we just can't crack any other fetches. Please be a land on top. Oh my god. Please be a different... Please be a land on top. Oh my god.
All right, well, we're not dead. What is with these lands? Ooh. Really? No lands? Oh my god, dude, come on. This is ridiculous. Any one land, dude. Because any one land lets us go exhaustion and dictative crucifix in the same turn. Well, any blue land, anyway. Oh my god. Fashionably late to the party land. Oh, we need that exhaustion, actually. Oh, that's awkward. I guess we can go time warp exhaustion dictate. Oh, we should have totally dictated there. Oh, that's so bad. I'm just forgetting things now. Oh, no, we'll dictate on their turn. I guess it's the same. It's not really the same, but it's close. Oh my god, still no lands. This actually can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this actually works for us. Add a blue. Actually, we do need to, do we need to hit lands though? We still need to hit lands, don't we? Okay, okay, we're, we're getting there. We're doing it. We can dictate and... I'm always going to play the land from the top. It only takes one, so we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can time warp and snapcaster, but it's almost better to time warp, snapcaster, and dictate, I think. Or exhaustion, rather. Three, and we'll dictate. We don't have mana for elixir. That's the problem. We'll have mana for elixir next turn, but... Like, we're using every single mana we have. Every single time. Temporal Mastery, does that do anything for us on the top? I don't think so. <laughs> That's pretty sad. So we can go to 15 here, and we have blockers. So I think we just have to hope to survive. I don't think we can, though. That's the problem. I think we're dead. Whew. Oh, man. Well, they get a turn, and they got seven cards in hand. That guy's pretty good. I think we died. So 
So we're at 15. They have four, five, six, seven, eight. We can block a four and a three. So we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think we actually survive here. I would, oh, that's actually very good. Okay. Unless they have another, they probably just have another shaman, actually. So we're probably just dead. They don't have another black source, though. They only have two mana. Okay. Oh my god, we survived? Oh, this is gas, guys. This is gas. Make sure you play your dictate. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Not my first dictate rodeo. Oh my god. I hope you know what's happening right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I will choose this one. Tap this one. I don't think we actually need Corsair at this point. We kill whoever blocks it, so. If they want to double block, they die. So. Oh, the game just ended, I think, guys. I don't. I'm not a magic expert or anything, but. I mean, you saw the time warp on the top. You knew we had that, so. Now they have to block both guys. Oh, all right, we just win the game. Sweet. Woo! Oh, baby. Don't care about the spell. Ratchet Bomb seems good. Definitely bringing Ratchet Bomb. Chalice seems good. I really don't like the implication of it hitting our own guys. We also have Aether Rise. We took out the Romans. Those are terrible. Kerwit, thank you for the donation. Really appreciate it, man. Five hours of shelter on me. That's all I could ask for. That's all I've ever wanted was five hours of shelter from my fellow man. I think it's worth just having these anyway, though. I'm gonna take out the I'm gonna take out one spreading seas. Trinosphere. Trinosphere could be good too. Wow, Trinosphere could be real good, but it does. Yes, you don't want to you don't want to remand a one a, a one mana elf because they'll just replay it. I mean, you can remand uh, an elvish arch druid, but it still costs. It's still they're still just gonna replay it. The best part about remand is that it acts like a time walk, so you want to be able to uh, remand their things. I think we can get a Trinisphere in here. I can take another Spreading Seas out. I'll put one Trinisphere just to see if we can draw it or see how it goes. We drew the two Spreading Seas. Oh, that's pretty comical. Honestly, instead of Remands or Condescend, I might even just make them Dispels. I think Dispel is one of the best counter spells there is. It's one mana, and the only thing you care about are instants because that's the only thing they're going to do on your turn. So. Look at all 
all these one man. See, like if we remanded that guy, I'll just replay it. If we remanded that guy, I'll just replay it. It's a lot of things happening right now. Oh, crying out loud! That's the, that's the devil. That guy is the actual devil. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're okay to spreading seas this right now. We actually don't have anything else to do, so. Ugh, crying out loud. Gross! And they get to kill our spreading seas? That's just rude. Why are you the way that you are? Transfer isn't worth it against elves by the time you play it. We have enough mana to not care. I like I like your use of the word we there. Uh, we don't care about that card. <laughs> Me and the elves. <laughs> oh, nailed it. Nailed it. We didn't, I don't think we nailed it, but. They have one card in hand. I guess it's safe to, I guess we have to exhaustion because uh, otherwise we die. Kerwin, five another five dollars. I really appreciate all the streaming you do. Here's five dollars. So I have five dollars of of shelter and five dollars of appreciation. Man, what a time to be alive. This is all I've ever wanted. Make sure we did everything we can do. Excuse me. Woo. Woo. Exhaustion is great, but I don't I'm just worried about it. I, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. We have a, we have one card off the top of our deck that can get us out of this out of this jam. Uh I don't think that's it. Two cards. One more card off the top. So close yet so far. I think we go to the next game. All right. Seems good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll bring another Trinosphere. We'll take out the... Uh... What are we taking out? I guess we're not taking out anything. We'll just leave it like this. Probably not leaving it like this. Yeah, well, I think one Trinosphere is fine. I don't think we need both. I don't know, Elk Tears, because I'm trying to find a place to put the donations and subscriptions. Maybe I just have them come down from the top. Ooh, I like that idea. Let's try that. All right, hold on a second. Let me... <laughs> All I keep hearing about is this spring before is $5. Wow, esteem, shelter, and, and appreciation? My God. All right, let's put it here in the middle. 
Give me one second. I want to make some. We're making some changes here, and I will go first. Um, I'm actually gonna keep this hand, and we're gonna go ham. We're gonna go moons over my hammy up in here, bro. And we're never gonna draw a second a second blue source, but. All right, hold on. Alert box. Cesar with the bits still not updated. I don't know why it's not working. I guess bits are just not a thing that I can ever update ever. So that's really sad. Stop. Hunter was licking himself like he does, which is extremely loud and obnoxious. Love him to death, but not okay. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's try fade in down. Let's see if that works. Save those for subscription. Fade in down, fade in down. That's not what we're looking for here, which means we will likely draw all of our one mana cards here. Utopia Sprawl off the top, you ready? Hey, it's a, ooh, that was a good draw. That was a great draw. I think we've saved, uh, all right, I think I fixed everything. So let me know if it works for you guys and we'll. I feel like we're in good shape when they haven't uh, played anything else by turn three. <laughs> Again. Why didn't I hit a land drop this turn? That's really sad. I just want a cry. Kiwi Cloud, what's going on, buddy? Girl, I've enjoyed watching you transform into a dominant internet streamer delivering the entertainment the masses crave. Here's $5 for self-actualization. I hope this has fulfilled $20 of your hierarchy of needs. It has, except the only problem is that that text was way too long. So now I have to make the text smaller. My God. How do streamers even work? Maybe I just make this bigger. Oh, that didn't work at all. Okay. Yep, we figured you had this. That's unfortunate. I guess I hope you kill the chalice, not the dictate. You kill the dictate, sure. Joke's on you, buddy. I feel like that's good for us. Now we get to draw two? Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so this should start the chain that we're looking for. We have two in hand, so as long as we can hit a land here. Two Utopia Sprawls. There's a kind of, uh, kind of awkwardness to hitting Utopia Sprawl. Now I'm tempted to just play Ratchet Bomb. Pop it for zero so we can untap and hit double Utopia Sprawl. That's awkward. Somebody touch my dictate.
Don't have another. Don't have another re 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 reclamation, Saju. Mm, that's fine. I accept. Oh, a little breeding pool. Okay. That started off as a friend donation, but then got away from me. I I accept. I appreciate the. Uh, The thing is, we can actually go Chalice, or we can kill our own Chalice, put the double Utopia Sprawls, and then just replay the Chalice. Having two Chalices in our hand doesn't really do anything, is a problem. And not the problem, but, but um, you know, it, it's something we can work around here. I almost want to crack this now, but we do have a time warp. The problem is I don't know if we're going to have time. I guess we're going to have time, right? All right, so that's a land. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> this just gives us so much more mana, and if we're going to time warp anyway... So here's what we can do. Get rid of this, right? We go... Utopia Sprawl here. We get a, get a Fabreeding Pool. A Fabreeding... A Fabreeding Pool! Because we have to get another green source. We didn't bring anything white, right? No. So we're going to go to five here, but I think we just win the game at some point, so... So, Sprawl here, name blue, and then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, add green and blue, use the green for a Sprawl here, one, two, three, four, yeah, this is going to work. All right, and that's perfect. Draw two. Now we have exhaustion part of the water veil, and we can uh, replay chalice if we need to. Now we have eight mana, which is significantly more, as you might imagine, than the five. So we just ramped ourselves to a million. Uh, put on the put on the bottom. Put the aether eyes on the top for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just draw two cards here, get any of their eyes. My concern is if they have a counter spell in their hand. Frank, why don't you finally be honest about your love for me? Blood Moon, how dare you? How dare you, Blood Moon? Never. The answer is never. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, we... Actually, this is pretty good. Do we play land this turn? We played Forest. All right, cool. I don't know if this deck runs counter spells, but it could be dead. We might be dead here. Oh, Unified Will is good. It might have been greedy. We might have just wanted to exhaustion there, but we don't have that much gas is the problem. Oh, they got the Reclamation Sage back too. That's so brutal. Oh, a million mana. Why is Blood Moon getting all the attention? What am I, Chopper? 
Oh my god. Wow. That's utterly insane. Well, that resolved. Wow, brutal. How about cryptic command off the top into dictate of Chrome 8. Cryptic into dictate, that'd be sweet. Wow, Aetherize. Holy smokes, who saw that coming? Here we go, Double Shaman. Rexage, Dwinnin's Elite. Sure. Three, four, six, seven, eight. I wish one of those was a dictate. Nothing in magic is good as a cryptic command, unfortunately. So we got a one here. We got a two, and then we can crack the the rainforest. I am best moon bet. Wow, no, no, not true. Not true. Bad moon is the best moon. All right, I'm out of cards, and I got a time warp on the top. I mean, we're dead, right? Like, there's we have to draw, like, the most insane string of runners to actually come out ahead here. That does not do it, unfortunately. That actually, now, now we're dead. Yep, that's the end. All right. Good game, though. We tried. Everybody fought hard. God, we, keep, we win a game. We win, like, the first game, and then our opponents are like, oh, fracturing gust, idiot. And you're like, oh, darn. This is why, I, I, I'll be honest with you, this is one of the reasons I don't like Utopia Sprawl on the deck. Uh, you are able to play it on turn one and then get to turn turn three and play a Dictate on turn, on turn two. Um, but I don't think that's better than just turning on all of their Abrupt Decays uh, or their... Reclamation Sages, stuff like that. You just give them more targets for stuff like that. And I just think I, that's the the reason the deck we played last time was a blue-green version with a... Uh, what do you call it? I also... It's a spreading Seas, same thing, right? But the, the version we played last time was a blue-green version with Farseek instead. So I just think having the land in play without... Because it not only, like, sets you back... Like, even if they don't... Like, lose, losing the... Having them Reclamation Sage or Utopia Sprawl is not the biggest deal... Losing the mana is the big deal. Like, you want that tempo. I think Fracturing Justice Gust is just a solid card for the elf deck. Um, it does get rid of problematic cards like Chalice or Ensnaring Bridge, which are, which are good against elves. Um, it also manages to... Um, get Like, it's just great against Affinity, so... Interesting. We're 
We're going to be discarding a bunch of cards? No. All right, cool, cool, cool. I think they seem good. Like, I like the idea of Utopia Sprawl a lot. But if you're not untap, The thing is, you're not even untapping them with, like, Garrick, right? If you had, like, Garrick on 4 mana Garrick, and you're untapping them to generate mana, that's that's another cool thing to do. But if you're not even doing that, like, the only time you're ever untapping them is with Nyssa, and then you're just attacking with them anyway, so... We're just going to keep up Remand and uh, potentially keep up Dictate of a Crufix. Yeah, I think it was just an overlap, Snorkrash. It's, it's definitely not against this deck, but it does kill our Dictate, our Chalice, and our Elixir, and our Utopia Sprawls. So... So, I like Farseek because you can always play it on turn two, but I like Search because sometimes just playing it on turn... If you get, if you get it to Resolve on turn... Three, that's really good. Actually, I don't know. It's always going to hit turn three, right? Whether you, whether you play it for one or whether you play it for... Hold on, what did Barack Obama say? Blood Moon is best moon. Ice ice drop. What does that mean? Is that a, is that a mic reference? I'll just take whatever this is. Five or whatever. And then I'll take three more because I'm a monster. Oh, yes. Bing! Gas. So I'm actually just going to get forest here because I don't feel like taking a million. Stop fighting. Don't make me come over there. Zaxor. It's okay, buddy. We're all your, your parents, mom and dad aren't fighting. Another temporal mastery, just to make it so so sweet. No, just to part the water bill. It's still pretty good. Oh come on, don't be like that. But they were like that, you see. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, so we want to exhaustion here. I think we can just play this tapped. I don't think it's worth uh, going to five. Just to keep up a remand when we might actually... Or we could also crack this, but I don't think we're at a point where we need to crack that yet, so. The best thing about Sprawl is that you can turn to a Temporal, but I don't even know if temp turn to a Temporal is that good. Like, you want a Temporal when you're actually drawing two cards from it, not one, I think. So, one, one, two, one, two. So, we have to hit a land here, and I don't think we're going to do that. So, I'm actually just going to Snapcaster and Exhaustion again. I hate missing land drops. I would also add a 23rd land as well. Because, like, you just don't want to miss land drops with this deck. Hmm. I think we have to just part here, but... Yeah, I mean, it's not close. We definitely do, but. Temporal one time. I need the, I need the discount. Remand? Dang it, Remand. Just knock it off. Cryptic Command. That's like a Temporal Mastery. That's like a, a Counterspell. Honestly, I don't think we want either of these. We want the we want the forest just because we want to hit our land drops, but I think we could just win here, right? 
Um, put the forest on top, put the cryptic on the bottom. Yeah, we're just going to win here. We're going to put them to 11, and then we're going to attack for a million. And I guess hope they don't have... Am I dead? I'm, I think so. All right. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Good times. We'll take, what do we take out? We took Snapcaster and what was the other card we took out? Elixir because we just don't want to deal with that. Um, Dictator Proofers, don't forget to cast me. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. I can't. I just can't. Oh, my God. I almost like timely reinforcements in this matchup. See, here's the turn where I'm going to be like, oh, Utopia Sprawl. Cool. Rock Lobster. All right, I like they haven't played anything yet. That is a good feeling. That is fine. Well, that's a good dude. I feel like this is safe. They only have two power on board right now, so. I don't really want this spreading seas either, so. That's a good card. It's a little scary, though. Uh, I think we're actually just going to get a white source here in case we hit rest in peace. Uh, hollow fountain. No. That is a Jace the Mind Sculptor. I'll be a biscuit. One, two, three, four. We can actually bounce this, but then they just attack with this. Hmm. I guess we could just wait to play Jace. Oh, we didn't... Have we not drawn our second card yet? Oh, we didn't draw our second card yet. Wow. <laughs> that was great. Because now we can Exhaustion and Spreading Seas. Can't block, huh? Eh. Yeah, I don't foresee them discarding five cards here, too. All right. Uh, now we can play Nissa for... Okay, we just win the match. They don't feel like dealing with it. 
All right, got it. <laughs> Round four. Going quick, going quick. We either win or we lose. That's how Magic the Gathering works, right, folks? God, I can't believe Barack Obama and Dictative Crewfix donated today. What a time to be alive. Yeah, they scooped. They knew what was going on. It's not fun for anybody at that point. I will play first. I'll click the old yes or no. Well, this hand is hot. Hot poops. Also, uh, Phoenix, you you lower your, rely your reliance on on forests if you cut the utopia sprawl as well you don't need to have as many forests so that's pretty good although every time i get the utopia sprawl in my opening hand i feel good about it i don't know if that's good enough though If this is good maybe this is good i'll bottom it it doesn't feel proactive oh i noted the capitalization i saw magic the gathering with the with that capital t so we can go turn to courser which is nice hope they don't have a way to kill that guy Wow. Yeah, might as well. Wow, it's funny that you mentioned this because this literally just happened. I mean, with three lands in hand, we definitely just don't want it to sit in our hand, though, unfortunately. So that's pretty hilarious. Be a land on top, please. Oh, that was a good land. Of all the lands in all the world, you had to draw mine. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, a little snake man. What up, little snake man? I'm actually going to draw this Miko Koro. I will attack your very little snake man. I assume you'll block. I'm gonna play the island off the top of my deck, I think. It's a free card, right? But I do want a Miko Koro here. It just shows you're devoted. No, you deserve nothing for that, Karakong. That was terrible. Just terrible. I don't think this is a time warp turn. Do we care about spreading seas? Maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, 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 hey. That's pretty good. Let me hit your greens. Oh, this is all this is all getting this is all looking very solid. Um, do we play land? We did. We we did play land, right? So we can actually put this on top. Put you on the bottom. Don't you be cracking no clues, boy. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have seven mana next turn. I think next turn's a good turn to uh, 
to time warp because then we can go time warp, snapcaster time warp, we can just do all the things, so. There's no tear in terrible. There is one in the corner of my eye right now. Did someone litter on the highway? Is that why? I'm so sorry if that's the case. Oh, Nissa? I want that Nissa. We're going to crack this. Try to hit a land on top. Uh, I think it's got to be Breeding Pool. We can take the damage here. Would you like to play the life? Yes. Seems good. Look at all this life I'm gaining. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want to draw you. Oh, give me one second, guys. Someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Don't don't go anywhere. Okay. All right. I don't want this Utopia Sprawl. I feel like I've ruined all my... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. We could just Temporal Mastery here. Because next turn we'll have eight, so we can time warp and draw a card, which is pretty good. You gonna counter this? Oh, you're gonna crack some clues. <laughs> Snorkrush, even if you think singing telegrams should make a comeback, I don't know if that increases the likelihood that it was a singing telegram. I guess we're gonna F6 this turn, because I have nothing else I can do right now. Uh, no attacks. You guys now too big to handle. Oh, a dictative crew fix on the top, eh? So let us. What's going on? Future Frank's only two dollars. Don't drink the coffee. Further instructions. To follow. <laughs> oh God! Why is this a real thing? So we're gonna put it on here. Name of blue. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we activate this and use this and use this, right? So I have one, two, three, four. We'll have five left over from here. And ideally, we will hit a land. We did not hit a land. That is very sad. I'm having a sad, a sad. I'm having a sad is basically what's happening right now. Still not attacking. Hey, that Nissa came back. Isn't that something? We're just going to keep saying blue for all of them. So now if, uh, we can. Should have actually nissed during. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana, so we can activate this and part the water veil, right? So, one, two, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. And if we hit a land on top, then we're in we're in great shape here. We didn't hit a land again. We're missing land drops. This is rough. 
We should be hitting every land drop. That's the that's one issue. Just add more land. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy, Phoenix. You gotta add more lands. So during our upkeep, we're gonna actually dictate if crew fix one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, finally. All right. We're surviving. Living on a prayer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're just going to Snapcaster and do the thing. One, two for Snap. Uh, I love that you have to choose target player for time warp. Hey, buddy. Uh, have another turn on me. Really don't want to draw remand, but I'm not going to waste my mana either. Bottom. Top. This is my one problem with the deck, is that your opponent just sits around doing nothing. Unless you have a card like Nissa, which lets, lets you win. Which is great. Seems good. Nope, we did play land. Make no mistake. Utopia Sprawl, I'm still the MVP of this match. Just dictate can only wish. Wow. My God, how are all these cards in my deck? Not only knowing what I'm saying, but like... Oh, we just misclicked. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can bounce this guy, but I think we just play with Cryptic Command. I guess it really doesn't matter. It only feels like it does. So one, two, one, two. Oh, I guess we just win. All right, cool. <laughs> We don't even have to do it anymore. We don't have to play anymore. Seems good. Aether Eyes? I don't even know what we're playing. I assume we're playing like Scape Shift? Like, all we saw was Tireless Tracker, Swamps, and Mountains, right? So, I don't even know. I don't know. I think we just submit like this. We saw, like, three cards, so. Ugh. Look at all these stupid forests, Mulligan. Wow! It's just terrible. Everything is terrible, Mulligan. Sure. Keep on five. I guess they kept on six. Sure, you can stay. Relic of Progenitus. All right, we only have jokes on you. We got one Snapcaster Mage. Feeling salty? What is that? I don't know what that means. I mean, I try not to feel salty any night. That doesn't seem fun. Breeding pool. What up, Dragosi? Uh, I don't see a point in spreading seas here because they're just going to uh, they're just going to get one of their 
Sure. This one. Why would you move my graveyard? Well, it made you look. Do 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 do. Put you in the thing. Sure. Yeah, we're just gonna dictate here. They're going to play Tracker again. We're going to Dictate. Then we have a Cryptic and Exhaustion, which is pretty good. You may have that. I guess you just don't have... Uh... I guess you just don't have the thing. The old, uh, the old Nature's Clay Marino. Of course, you draw the one Snapperino. It's still gonna pass here. Actually, maybe this is a. This could be Primo Exhaustion. No, we can save our exhaustions. I'd rather just keep Cryptic up. <laughs> Andrew P. I'll keep my. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Who's CMV? I do not know who that is. Uh, da -da -da -da. Did they play land this turn? Yes. Take four. You can just bounce this guy. They didn't play anything, really? Draw a card. Sure. It's actually pretty good. Lots of things happening here. All right, we'll just say no to you. We'll keep up remand. Oh, change my view. What, is, what just happened? Cytomegalovirus? What is wrong with you people? God, you weird, you, you weird, Weird weirds. Is spreading season not cheap anymore? Oh, never do that. That's just rude. You never. You have a. Well, that's vomit inducing. Sure. Also, look, we've just found another reason why Utopia Sprawl is not great. Especially in the, the Ponza match. I agree with them. And then the Ponza metagame, rather, where they're like, oh, I'll just stone rain your thing. I'll fall money your thing. I'll do this to your thing. And then all your things are dead. Future Frank, okay, you can drink the coffee. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was actually very nice. But if we had one more land here, we could actually time warp and then snap time warp. But... I think we actually just exhaustion here. This still untaps, which is unfortunate, which means they could play a land and then do their thing. We're just going to time warp. It's the best use of our mana.
So they do get Relic. I assume they'll have a land that comes into play untapped where they can... Uh... Oh, wow. That's amazing for us because now we get to take advantage of our time warp. That's so phenomenal. Oh, boy. Oh, we just won the game. <laughs> I mean, let's not go crazy, but... I will choose Windswept Heath. Okay, well, we were hoping to not draw infinite lands, but on the same hand, we do have two time warps at the ready, so... Our single Snapcaster Mage actually gets to fight through this... This Relic. That's just gas. <laughs> do we just do we, we just do it again, right? Because next turn we can uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we actually just part the water veil without here, maybe. Actually, I guess we can Exhaustion now. I'm not really afraid of them untapping with one land, so. Yeah, I think we did this. <laughs> An old school series uh, where you take old school top tier decks and run them through, run them through modern. Oh, God. Yeah, this game just ended, I think. Bomb bomb. And you have died. One, two, three. Big fan, by the way. Sweet. Uh, nice. I got him. I would have Nissa renewed with Vengeance next turn. 14. Yeah, Vengeance seems sweet. Yeah, increasing Vengeance was crazy there. And it has flashback. Woo. All right, nice. Nice. Frank, I thought you disappeared forever, and I found you again. Been a long time since I saw you on TCG. I have been on TCG Player for like three years. I have been uh, streaming, and all my videos are on YouTube. So if you guys are missing uh, videos, if you guys are missing streams, check me out at youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. It's good times. All right, last round. It's the final countdown. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. I know now I never use TCG. <laughs> well, that's pretty sweet, I guess. Uh, I got to thank you. I won a movie quiz yesterday, and the winning answer was The Room, and they played Oh Hey Mark. Would not have known that without you, so I have a half bottle of whiskey for you just drop by. Oh, that's... I'll keep that in mind. Oh, hi, Mark. I'll be one day I'll be coming for my whiskey. You make make no mistake. Saridra. Saridra? Um the green is for cards like uh, Utopia Sprawl and uh, Core Serve Crew Fix. What I do is uh, a lot of times viewers will will ask me to commission, they'll commission me to critique their deck lists. 
So I will run through a league and give them feedback. So this is a deck that uh, Phoenix submitted, and we'll keep this hand because of the double seer mission. And so we're trying to figure out if the green is worth it here. So you put all of you record or you choose some? Uh, I record Zaxbar. I feel like you should know that. Um, any stream, I, I separate. I like, I'll start the recording at the beginning of a draft and then I'll end it at the end of the draft and I'll just post those. So. I thought this was a Horizon Canopy and I'm like, wow, first turn crack your Horizon Canopy. That's a, that's a bold strategy. Look at these. Look how fancy. Oh, you fancy. Alex rocks more like Alex lands rocks. Rock. Rocks rock. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we've made it. Mistakes have been made. Oh, we got things in the sideboard. I think we're just getting a. Uh, I'm just getting a, an island here. I don't feel like taking a million here. I don't know if we can I don't know if we can beat Voggles just because I don't think we're nearly fast enough. This can go on the bottom, you can stay. Uh the white in the sideboard is it really worth it for the extra color? I think so. I think you lose very minimal. Like you already have like ten fetch lands and you're adding one hollowed fountain and one temple garden. So like <laughs> Um it's really hard to to deny the fact that like uh, cards like Stony Silence and Rest in Peace are so backbreaking against certain matchups that, yeah, I don't. I, I think you, you you don't lose nearly enough to uh, to not include things like just the two the two set the two sack lands that you're the two uh, shock lands that you're going to be that you might as well place similar lands anyway. I could probably just replace them with a forest and an island because you already have like four misties or four uh, breeding pools. So, we're actually going to do one of these jobbies because I don't know if this is going to hold you back or not, but uh, the, the likelihood of a snapcaster actually being able to block here uh, profitably is pretty low. Uh, this will definitely be on YouTube. Yeah, this goes up tomorrow. Usually I post my modern videos on Monday uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern time. No forest. No green source. Also, no ethereal armor or hyena umbra. Which you, you undoubtedly have one of those, right? Yeah, there's one. And you get to draw a card. What a time to be alive. Uh, name on YouTube is literally youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. So just my name. It's also right in the, it's over, over there on the bottom in the little, the little slide on all the way on the right, right near the, the fibble thip. This is a pretty good turn. This is not, it's not bad. How about an exhaustion into like, how do you, how do you, I, I uh, appreciate you saying so. Thank you so much. You're not going to play anything with your island. Just go to the end step and let me let me play my lands. He auto-tunes his voice for the stream. 
Oh god, what are you guys even talking about? Oh my god, that's exactly what we wanted. We actually have to get breeding pool here awkwardly enough because um if we hit any any forest, we can't cast cryptic. Is this correct? This has to be correct, right? We could go Serum Visions and keep up Remand. Four, five, six, seven. I think we'd be dead. And it is possible bans or unbans for tomorrow. You were right last time. Uh none. I don't see any potential bans or unbans. The format they're not gonna they're not gonna ban or unban anything this close to having unbanned Snapcaster, uh, unbanned uh, Deathrite Shaman and Jace. It's just not happening. Yes. Hit me one time with the land. Oh my goodness gracious. So bottom you, top you, land, land again. Do I think Death Ray Shaman will eventually get banned in Legacy? I don't actually play enough Legacy to even have an opinion, to be honest. Um, I don't see why it would, just because I don't think it's warping the format. <sighs> it's either Time Warp or then it's Cryptic. I think we can I think we can cryptic here. I do like guaranteed hitting a land though. But I'd also rather have Yeah, we'll just tap. We're going to tap because if we have cryptic in the graveyard, uh I like being able to start attacking with snapcaster. Seems fine. Yeah, we're definitely tapping and drawing here. We do have snap. We do have snap exhaustion as well, which is like so. We have time warp, crip, and we have a lot of things here. Um, tap all creatures. Yep, that's what we wanted, because now we can Snapcaster and do it again. Wow. I think we're okay. Oh boy, do I think we're okay. We can also Exhaustion and then draw a card, which is actually very good. It's all happening. It's all happening. We have to keep up to remand and we get to exhaustion. We just want to make sure we hit land drops at this point. Sure. It's going to be a temporal mastery. Oh, it was a good it was a good one. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Eight, always blue. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana, so we can actually play this and go Temporal Mastery, which I think we're going to do. I really just want to hit Dictate here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine, so we want three for Miko Koro, four for Cryptic, and two for Snapcaster. I think that's where we want to be.
Like Mika Koro right now is just our makeshift. Uh... Take all the turns right into your local Hungry Howie's and pick up a flavored crust pizza today. Wow. That's amazing. Cryptic command. Okay. Tap all dudes, draw a card. One, two, three, four. I might just remand whatever they play here just because it's kind of like Miko Koroing, but for... Yeah, we're just going to remand that guy. They also have to crack a Windswept Heath if they want to replay it. No, they have an island, so that's fine. No, they maybe they didn't realize that. All right. Yeah, Cryptic Return Snapcaster is also an option. And then we get to uh, do an Exhaustion, but we want to hit, like, Dictate so we actually have a way to capitalize on our... Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have ten mana. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can do a lot of things here, actually. Still no dictate. All right. So we're definitely attacking here. See, there's a real problem with us just running out, though. We do get the top three cards. One, two, three... I choose me. One time. So we could Spreading Seas remand our Spreading Seas and Spreading Seas again. We need to draw three cards that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have one, two, three, four, five mana. That was a problem. We only get to draw two cards because it gets countered once. One time. All right. Live another day. Okay. We got it. One, two, three. During upkeep, we're going to dictate. Do we really bounce Snapcaster? I don't think we do. We can shuffle it in though. Three cards, top three cards. That's not it. Not it, not it, not it. I think we're dead. <laughs> oh, oh, we overpaid. All right, that's good. So sad. All right, well, all of that did not do it. That would have done it. We could play Jace, look at the next three, keep Temporal Mastery. Wow, that was really sad. Actually, Jace could have bounced Cryptic, uh, bounced Snapcaster. Aetherize, 1000% comes in. So do Chalices. Take out Elixir. I don't think Remand is great here, it's actually pretty bad. Ratchet Bomb is pretty okay. I think that's good. Trinosphere is pretty bad on the 
Even if I even if I want to play it, I just don't think Trinisphere is great. Three mana is a lot. I mean, there's nothing we can really do against the Gaddock T, to be quite honest. Remember that one time we cast Aetherize against Elves and it totally destroyed us? I do. I do. I mean, not casting it was also pretty bad, so... I will name blue like you do uh time the problem with time limit reinforcements is a lot of the guys have trample or flying if they don't it's great but i don't like hoping that that's the case all right that's pretty good That was actually a great draw. That is fine. Wow. It buys more time than not timely, but, I mean, not if we're drawing it over more relevant cards in our deck. The Ratchet Bomb also does kill Utopia Sprawl, which is not a card I'm not thrilled with. So if we draw Ratchet Bomb right now, it actually hurts us as well. Which I'm not super happy about. So theoretically, if we can survive until next turn, we're doing okay. Oh, I see. Hmm. Huh. All of these things in combination are pretty good for us, I think. We do want lands though is the problem. I want to put Chalice on the bottom. It's a little controversial, but I think we can actually do without it. Like, next turn we just have to not die, and we have Snapcaster to block. Exactly what we're looking for here. We want both of these. All right, here we go. Honest question, have you ever played a Polymorph deck in Modern? Oh, I'm sure I have, actually. I can't say it did very well, but I know we've done it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ethereal armor number f f Cool deck. Turn three. Sweet match. So if we played Ratchet Bomb, it wouldn't have done anything because we wouldn't we didn't have the time to pump it to one. If we played Chalice for one, it wouldn't... I mean, we wouldn't have a way to draw Chalice that turn anyway. So we could have... It would still be on top of our library. Exhaustion and Chalice would both be on top, so... Yeah, I agree. I think Engineer Explosives is better than Ratchet Bomb. 
I mean, Chal they, they, they would have resolved both of those spells without... We don't have Chalice. Chalice is on the top of our deck. We never had the chance to draw Chalice, unfortunately. All right. So the deck we were playing was... Bant turns. All right. So... I don't like having all these forests when we have double double green or double blue and triple blue. I think we can actually remove some of these if we get rid of the Utopia Sprawls. And I think that's what we need to do. Also, I don't feel like Remand is very good in modern right now. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm not sure. Also, I think Elixir Immortality has, has gone down in value a lot in this deck. In this specific deck. Um, so I would actually add more of these. One, two, three cut three of these I would actually add one more land too I think you need one more land in the deck um, spreading seas I don't know why we only have one snapcaster like snapcaster is one of the stronger cards in the deck and being able to snapcaster time warps or exhaustions is very very strong um, one of my favorite parts of this deck is that you have Nissa. And I think Nissa is a really, really unique win condition that she actually wins very quick, quickly. Um, so with Nissa, uh, you can actually just play her for eight mana and deal ten damage, and a lot of times that's enough in modern. Interestingly enough, uh, I don't like the Trinisphere on the sideboard. I also didn't like the Ratchet Bomb. Uh, I do, I do like Engineered Explosives. I would put two Engineered Explosives on the sideboard. I would also add another Aetherize. I think Aetherize, when it's good, it's very good. And I think it's like a deck like Boggles, it's it's probably just fine. Um, I do like this spell. So if we're going to play like some kind of counter spell, I would play like two Dispel. I don't actually like Remand. I don't think it's that great. No sound. There should be sound. Everyone else is. Everyone else just heard the cat. Um. I guess you wouldn't hear me say that, though, because you didn't have sound. And, like, two Courser of Crufix, like... Why not, just have, why not just have four Courser? Like, we're trying to exploit Ramp, right? And I think we should. I think Ramp should be exploited. I do like Cyclonic Rift, actually. I think Cyclonic Rift might be better than Aetherize, and it actually might be worth playing main deck. I think Cyclonic Rift does the same thing in the deck as Remand, only in the late game. It's almost the same as having a Time Warp effect. So I'm going to take... I, I think Cyclonic Rift is pretty good. It doesn't get you the same kind of value in the early game with drawing as Remand does. But I also don't like Remand in this list. I also had at least one more Snapcaster Mage. All right, get out of here. God, you're so loud. Uh, I would add another Cryptic Command. I don't see any reason why not to have Cryptic Command. Uh, and we get one more, one more card in the deck. And I think it actually I would definitely try it with these changes. Um, we had another land. We added coursers. I, I, I don't like spreading seas. I do like a card like Farseek. We played Farseek in the other version, and I thought it was good. Maybe uh, instead of Farseek, if you're not playing the version with um I do like I do like search. I could see playing at least one search in the deck. Probably just one, because it's kind of like another dictate. Oh wow, that was And I kind of like, um, I do kind of like having, instead of spreading seas, but like, like search, uh, not search, uh, I tried Farseek in the other version, but that was because we had, um, we had Thing in the Ice to balance everything, which is really sweet. Uh, Thing in the Ice is another option. If you don't want to go that same option, which is what I'm trying to do. Like this was the other version. Um, Eternal Turns. This is the version I did a couple weeks ago. And we had four Time Warps, two Temporal Masteries, one part of the Water Rail, four, four Cryptics, and three Jaces. We did have the Nyssa, uh, Eternal Witness, Dictative Crufix, and our card drawing was Thing in the Ice. Or not Thing in the Ice, but just Dictate, and we also had four Serum Visions. But then you also get the Giga Drowse, which is nice. And we had Far Seeks, which also triggered Thing in the Ice, so that was pretty sweet. And it ramps you to, like, it makes sure you have a third land, right? So this is similar, but I'm trying not to make the, the decks exactly the same. So with this deck, I would probably just go with Sakura Tri Builder, because it lets you block early, and like, it, you want to be you want the extra mana. You definitely want to be either ramping or doing something else. And I think 
We could probably just go to four Sakura Tribe Builders or four Serum Visions. It also, see, the other thing is if you do have Core Serve Crew Fix, it's nice to have another shuffle effect in the deck. So you can actually be like, oh, I'll shuffle my deck and uh, see what's on top. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what just happened. Sure. Um... I did. I already added one more land. I think 23 is fine. I just don't think you ever want to miss a land drop in this deck. Um, I would actually cut one Temporal for one Part the Water Veil. I think Part the Water Veil is a great win condition. And being able to play it for six rather than seven is pretty good. Like, the, the odds of, ma of mass... of, uh, what do you call it? Ma uh, miracling this is pretty low. And I think that the win conditions are fine. You have Jace, you have Nissa, and you have three Part the Water Veil here. I think this is probably the list that I would try going forward. Um, I think you're just replacing Utopia Sprawls with Sakura Tribe Elders for the reasons that we saw. You're not untapping the land that you have, and it just makes it such a liability, right? Like, like it, we got hit with Monvolley Acid Moss. We got hit with Fracturing Gust. Um, they they Fatal pushed it when we accidentally untapped it with, uh, with Nyssa. So, I mean, you know. I think I think that's a good choice. Also, the Dispel in the main deck is great because it prevents them from having just some ridiculous things. Dispel, obviously, it's kind of like... Uh, that's a personal choice for me. Because once you start going off with Time Warps and Part the Water Veils, um, you don't... The only thing you're going to care about is what they can do on your turn. Like, so they're instants. So, not a huge deal. Um, but it is just a preference. Um, you would cut a forest for planes. We have two wind swept teeth, four misty rainforests, uh, temple garden, and a hollowed fountain. That's eight sources of white, which I think is plenty. You can get Sakura. Yeah, you could actually add a planes just for Sakura tribe builder. I agree with that. Maybe it's still eight sources though. Is the really the problem? I wouldn't cut a dispel for another land. I don't think. I think twenty four lands might be too much, especially now that we have tribe builders. But. Um, hard to say. Another thing is, like, if you did have Farseeks instead, you could Snapcaster them back. I don't know. There's a lot of, like, that's, that's one of the things I love about turns is that you have a lot of options. Whether you want to go straight blue, whether you want to go blue-white, whether you want to go blue-green, or whether you want to go Bant. I think there's a lot of options. And even though I just did a similar deck like this with this, uh, like, maybe a week or two ago, I think the, this is still very much different from that. So, um, I think the your options are wide open. I, I like the way this looks. Um... And uh, hopefully you can, Phoenix, if you if you try it out, let me know. And uh, let me know how it goes because I'd be very curious to see um, if this has different results than, than the list you were playing originally. Um, also, you know, having Chalice in the sideboard now is much better because you don't have the same amount of uh, Utopia Sprawls, right? Like, so you're not playing Utopia Sprawl anymore. So you're not just going to, I can even see cutting the Dispels and just putting two more Cryptics because Cryptics are literally just time warps in this deck. I'll be honest with you. I could see this. Like, I could see you're countering their thing, you're tapping all their guys, and all you have to do is survive. I think this is probably better because it minimizes the number of cards that are actually dead with Chalice of the Void on one. And that's what you really want. And you have two Dispel on the sideboard anyway. So I, I could see going this direction. Um, hopefully hopefully this feedback has helped. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the uh, the matches in the league. And if you guys ever want to get your deck critiqued by me, uh, feel free to check out my Twitch profile, twitch.com slash twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. There's info in there how we can do that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.